The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts on what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening viewers, welcome to tomorrow. Let us pray. Lord, we are grateful because we are your children. We are grateful for your love and your mercies over our lives. I want to thank you for your faithfulness that we enjoy every single day of our lives. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. And the way a father will speak to his children, we ask you to reveal your very mind and to speak unto us even this hour. And Lord, let our lives show forth your praise continually. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Well, welcome to tomorrow. Once again, this evening, I want to share with us a word of titled Success Dynamics. If there is a need for success in anything that we do as humans, that need becomes very imperative even now. Look at how things are in the whole world. The need for success is now very urgent, very important, very significant, even and relevant for every single human being. And listen, success is God's mind for his children. God wants us to be successful. What does the word success mean? It means uh, to achieve a favorable outcome. It means to achieve a desirable outcome. So whatever you set out to achieve, which you end up achieving is said to be something that was successful. That venture was successful. That action was successful. Now, God wants you to succeed. God wants me to succeed. Now, success answers to principles. And those principles are, 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 are for the sake of this message, I refer to as dynamics. You know, dynamics are, are forces that shape outcomes. So these principles are dynamics of success. So what do we mean? We're going to use uh, the issue of the ground, of the seed, of the timing to explain this issue. You want to succeed? I want to succeed. But there are certain things that must be put in place. Number one thing, the right ground. The ground must be perfect for the seed that we intend to plant. The ground must be perfect. The conditions of the ground will determine the outcome of the harvest. If the seed is good and the ground is bad, no harvest. Now, the ground here refers to your heart, my heart. Your heart is the ground. And that ground must be rooted in God. It must be good ground because a good heart will produce good treasures. An evil heart will produce evil treasures. Let's see that in Luke's Gospel, chapter 6 and verse 25. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. So the heart that is good will produce that, that which is good. The ground that is good will produce that which is good. So the right ground. That's very important. So the right ground. Your heart must be enriched with God's word. My heart must be enriched with God's word. Let's move to the second factor. The second factor is the quality of the seed. The right seed. There are seeds for specific grounds. If the seed is okay, then the outcome will be okay as well. If the seed is bad, the outcome will be bad. There will be no good harvest or there will be no harvest at all. Let's look at this. Let's look at uh, Luke's uh, gospel, the same Luke chapter 6 and verse 3. For a good tree or seed bringeth not forth corrupt fruit. Neither doth a corrupt tree or seed bring forth good fruit. So a good seed will produce good fruit or good harvest. A bad seed will do the same. The right seed. So what seed, what idea, what thought, what venture, what activity are you considering? Make sure you get the seed from God. In the Bible of the Sower, the, the Bible tells us the seed is the word of God. So get your idea from God. Let God instruct you. And finally, you know, we've talked about the right ground, the right seed, and then the right time. You don't just plant at any time. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, that there is a time and a season to every purpose under heaven. And verse 2 goes on to say, a time to plant and a time to reap. Listen, there is a time to plant. Farmers usually don't just plant. Maize, for instance, uh, is planted at the onset of the rains. The timing is crucial. May the Lord inspire you as far as the timing is concerned. May you always know what to do and may you come out successful. Join us in church tomorrow and you will be blessed. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, at Jiare, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. 
Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.